from a badge and uniform to handcuffs. This former police officer there in the center of your screen right now charged with sexually abusing multiple children. Investigators say he used his power and positions around children to commit these crimes. The suspect is accused of victimizing children for years. And BC 10's Deanna Durante is live in Doylestown with the information that police want you to know. Deanna? James Carey is his name, and sources say he worked in police departments not just here in Bucks County, but also a department in Montgomery County. They say that he used his badge, his uniform, and other jobs to get close to children and their parents, gain their trust, and then victimize them. In a suit and a tie, he walks into district court. Not the police uniform the DA says James Carey used to gain trust, intimidate, and used to show he was untouchable. Despite leaving in handcuffs after being charged with more than 100 criminal counts tonight, James Carey is free on bail. This man was a perversion and an aberration and a stain on law enforcement. A DARE officer, the DA says Carey targeted boys who were facing challenges and used his power and trust not just with the kids, but their parents. And once he had it, he fondled, molested, and had children engage in sex acts with him. According to more than 80 pages of documents filed in court today, many in the community knew of Carrie's closeness, especially with young boys. Witnesses told a grand jury there were rumors about hot tub parties in Carrie's backyard. And in 2001, one teen made a report to Warminster Police. The office then investigated, and a former DA wrote, while criminal charges could not be filed at that juncture, her office had grave concerns about the safety of the community. Yet Carrie remained on the force. The documents say the Warminster Township Police Department was aware there was a great deal of concern about inappropriate boundary issues throughout Carrie's career. And then in 2005, Kerry was fired from the Warminster Township Police Department at the rank of sergeant for reasons not related to any of these concerns. He was hired back after binding arbitration. And it wasn't until last spring when an adult male went to police and told them he'd been molested and abused. The case was looked at again. Police discovered dozens of witnesses who told them not just to the hot tub parties, but overnight camping trips and pat downs while Kerry was in uniform, that there was groping and the feelings of shame and embarrassment they still struggle with. If you or somebody you know were molested by this man, please come forward. Now, Carrie's attorney says that he is innocent of these charges tonight. He is charged with abusing four children. The DA says that Carrie also worked at a campground and most recently was a bus driver in Cape May, New Jersey. Again, if you have any information about this case, you are asked to call the Bucks County District Attorney's Office. Reporting live in Doylestown, Deanna Durante, NBC 10 News.